Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be um, the last live uh, Earth Day video. Uh, it's been a very wonderful Wildlife Wednesday and I've been thrilled to share with you some of my thoughts about um, uh, wildlife and Earth Day. And um, I want to, uh, on this last little video, to talk to you a little bit about my thoughts about Earth Day. Um, I've been thinking about Earth Day, gosh, for a long time, since certainly since 1990 when I helped organize the uh, Earth Day event at the University of Buffalo. And uh, that was a big deal. If anyone was there uh, in 1990, April 22nd, 1990, and helped celebrate Earth Day with me, I would love to hear from you. Um, but Earth Day is really special. Um, Earth Day is about looking at Earth's systems, right? Earth has a number of systems. We have a hydrosphere, right? that's our water and our water system. We have a geosphere, right? the Earth. We have an atmosphere, that's the air. And then we have a biosphere. And that's all those living things. That includes us, and it also includes wildlife. And within our biosphere, if, it, if our biosphere, if it's healthy for wild animals, it's also healthy for us. But I want to tell you that wildlife isn't doing so well right now, and we should pay attention. Because wildlife is like the canary, the canaries in the coal mine. Unfortunately, about a million species are at risk for extinction. That's a lot. That's plants and animals. The World Wildlife Federation, uh, in their Living Planet report, says that there has been a 60% decrease in the wildlife population in just over the last 40 years. Pay attention. If it's not healthy for wildlife, it's not healthy for us. And we're seeing that more and more our, our, our systems are not supporting wildlife in the way that we'd like to see. A lot of times people will say we're on the verge of a mass extinction. I like to use a different word because it's actually an extermination. Unfortunately, it's due to humans that uh, wildlife is not doing so well. So this is a really important Earth Day. We're all at home. We all have time to consider what's going on. And I want us to really take this time to be retro, uh, introspective and to look at what we can do. This is for our future, our children's future, and our children's children's future. The Native Americans believe that we should be making all of our decisions looking seven generations in the future. My thoughts are that we should probably start doing that in everything we do. So I've, we've talked a lot about things you can do. From my perspective, Earth Day is about how I can support wildlife and things that I can do to help wildlife. And I know, because I know about Earth systems, that if I'm helping wildlife, I'm also helping humans. So what, what, what are some things you can do, right? We've been talking about this at length. You can decrease your garbage, right? Decrease your plastic use. Plastics are a major problem, in not only in the oceans, but also in our Great Lakes. We're seeing that almost all of the wildlife that's in our Great Lakes are somehow, some at some point, negatively affected by plastics. So plastics, that's something we can cut down on. We can start looking at our carbon footprint. Um, think about the, the, um, the energy that you use. Uh, think about um, when you're going in planes. We're, we're seeing how easy it was to stop traveling. Um, so maybe we can take this into the future. Uh, you can keep your cats inside. 
It's safer for the cats and it's also better for wildlife. You can cut down on pesticide use. You can please don't use rodenticide. Unfortunately, it kills more than just the rodents. Um, you can not use lead if you're a hunter. Um, you can plant native species. Uh, that's one of the best things you can do is, is plant native species. So I am so encouraged by um, everyone uh, taking time to consider uh, wildlife and, and, and to continue to support the SPCA and what we do to help wildlife. I'm so grateful. We couldn't be here without our community. So thank you so much. Please, um, you should be very proud about what we do here to support animals at the SPCA. And I want to thank you. It's also Volunteer Appreciation Week, and it's very crazy that we're here uh, without any volunteers. In the Wildlife Department, we have 157 active volunteers, and it's so, I miss them so much, you have no idea. But what we want to be healthy, and um, we're continuing to care for animals as best we can, and we'll be back soon. Um, but I want to send a big thank you out to all the volunteers. I see Diana and Paul Bigelow are and are both watching, and they're both fantastic wildlife volunteers. And I want to thank them personally. Thank you for all that you have done. And Diana, boy, do I miss you on the phones. I'm taking all these phone calls. Um, and by the way, it's not a big deal if you see wildlife in your backyard. You're lucky. Anyway. I would like to wrap this up and say happy Earth Day. Thank you so much and go be well and we'll see you next Earth Day.